Welcome to Electra Online. Again, we're trying to find A, B, and C in terms of the other sides using the right angle triangle. Again, this is a right angle triangle, but in this case, one of the angle is 30 degrees and the other angle is 60 degrees. Notice that A is opposite to the 60 degree angle and B is opposite to the 30 degree angle, which means that A must therefore be twice as long as B. With that in, in mind, let's calculate C, A, and B. So in this case, we can say that C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared, but since A is equal to two times B, so this can be written as two A quantity squared plus B squared. So, oh, oh, no, 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 no. A is two times B, there we go, that's better. Two B squared plus B squared, so this is equal to 4B squared plus B squared, but in other words, C squared is equal to 5B squared. All right, so that's the case, we can say that C is equal to the square root of 5 times B. But what if, what if I want to express C in terms of A? Well, I can do that as well. I can say that C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. Now B can be expressed as half A. So c squared is equal to a squared plus one half a quantity squared. If I now square both sides, I can say c squared is equal to a squared plus one quarter a squared. So c squared is equal to five over four a squared. And that means I can say that c is equal to square root of both sides. c is equal to the square root of five over two times a. So this is how I can express both C and A in terms of, uh, C in terms of A and B. What about A? All right, I can then say that A squared is equal to, well, let me try that again. So I want to solve for A squared, so I'm moving B squared the other side. So this is equal to C squared minus B squared, but keep in mind that B was equal to half A, so I have a squared is equal to, yep, so it would be equal to c squared minus b, which is a over 2 quantity squared. So that means that a squared is equal to c squared minus 1 quarter a squared. If I now add this to the left side, 1 plus a quarter, that's 5 quarters a squared is equal to c squared, or a squared is equal to 4 over 5 c squared, which means that a is equal to 2 divided by the square root of 5 times c. And solving for b, I can then say that b squared is equal to c squared minus a squared, but remember that a was equal to 2 times b, so that's b squared is equal to c squared minus 2b squared. That's equal to 4b squared, negative 4b squared, move to the other side, I get 4 plus 1, which is 5b squared, is equal to c squared, or b squared is equal to 1 over 5c squared. And then, of course, if I take the square root of both sides, I can say that b is equal to 1 over the square root of 5 times c. Now, notice that we should be able to go over here, and if I solve this for b, I have 1 over the square root of 5 times c. And if I, if I solve this for A, I have 2 over the square root of 5 times C, which is what I have over here. Hopefully, uh, well, not hopefully, we now can see we're consistent, but that's, of course, the case, that whenever you work this out, you should be able to go from one to the other and have no errors. But that's how we use Pythagorean Theorem and the concept of angles when they're 45 and 45 or 30 and 60 degree angles. And using the method, the square root method, to solve quadratic equations to come up with these relationships. And that is how it's done.